Uh, hi there. Uh, I just came over from one of uh, Baring's videos to see if uh, anything I do counts as harassment. Now, uh, you guys don't know who I am, but I'm a I'm like a hermit. I haven't like left my apartment in like three years, and even before that, just like let's just say hermit. Like you got me. I'm a hermit. So I'm gonna do this. If you've done any of these things, it counts as harassment. Uh, quiz? Survey? Quiz? Checklist. It's not exhaustive, comprehensive outline of what constitutes sexual harassment. It's meant to be an exercise to get people to thinking about kinds of behavior that are sometimes normalized but do in fact constitute harassment. Have you ever looked at her in a way that made her visibly uncomfortable? Who is her? Like, who, literally, who is her? Okay, I have to no script this. Just give me a second. Okay. So, who is the her for, uh, I'm assuming they're talking about a girlfriend. Uh, I'm a hermit, so this is nobody. But, uh, I'll assume they mean any girl ever in history. So, looked at her in a way that made her visibly uncomfortable? Nope. Looked at her breasts while talking to her? Well, I guess I have to. Because, you know, people have, like, what, 45 degrees up and down and to the left and right? By default, if you're looking somebody in the eyes, you can still see their breasts. So, yeah, stolen kiss? No. Followed a woman you're interested in? No, I've never followed a person. Do they mean, like, in real life or, like, like if you follow a Twitter. Because still no. Uh, spied on an ex? Nope, had no exes. I'm a hermit. Spied on a girlfriend? Nope. Uh, made a comment about her body? Nope, there's no her. And I'm a hermit. Touched a woman? No. Touched a woman? No. Took photos? No. I only just got a camera like... I only just got a phone like this year. Well into my hermitage. So no. Shared pictures? No. Pictures, no. Insisted on asking her out, no. Tried to hook up, no. Manipulated, no. Asked, asked. Okay, anything that involves a person, I can just, like, preemptively say no, so. Involves a person, involves a person, involves a person. Uh... Uh, I've never been a teacher. This one's a little too... It's like, you've tried to hook up somewhere previously. That's like a double whammy. So, uh, but yeah, no. Apologize to a man for flirting. No. Does it, does this, like, I'm sorry I flirted? Or, I know I flirted, but I'm not going to apologize, so that makes me less sexual harassy. I don't know, encourage two women to kiss? Well, no. Inappropriately touch someone? No, I've never danced, so... Believed a woman as a slut based on the number of sexual partners she had. That's the definition of slut. Uh, sent her pictures of your genitals. Blamed alcohol. Kept her mouth shut about a friend who has abused someone. I uh, have no friends. Because uh, I'm a hermit. Uh, blamed alcohol for your behavior around women. So what if you're extra courteous and nice but only while drunk am I or am I supposed to be mean and be like nah it wasn't the alcohol's fault does that make me a better person I don't know but yeah so show me my results I'm part of the problem yay in the US one in six women will experience an attempted or completed rape in their lifetimes well I think it has to be a lot higher than that if uh, seeing their breasts counts as rape when, you know, you could be looking, you could be looking like three feet above her head and those breasts still going to be in the line of sight no matter what you do. And believe a woman is a slut based on the number of sexual partners she had. That's the definition of slut. So, uh, oh, wait, wait, what if she only had, like, two partners, 
and I called her a slut. Then, okay, so I can retract this one. It, I have to reload the page to retract an answer. So, um, looked at breasts while talking to her. I'm assuming they mean with intent. In which case, no, because I became a hermit well after anything. So, wow, I'm doing a great job. Okay, so all you have to do to not be a part of the sexual harassment problem is never leave your house. So, so yeah, there you go. I don't leave my house, so I'm not part of the problem. That makes me the best feminist ever. Probably. Fuck it.